वसुदेवसुतंदेव कंसचाणोरमर्दनम देवके परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगदुरु योगस्थ कुरु कर्मा योगस्थ कुरु कर्मा संगंत्यक्वाधनजय संगंत्यक्वाधनजय सिद्ध सिद्ध समो भूवा सिद्ध सिद्ध समो भूवा सम्व योग उच्य सम्व योग उच्य ओ धनंजय द कॉन्कर ऑफ वेल्थ perform actions duties being steadfast in the path of yoga renouncing attachment having become even minded in success and failure and that equanimity equilibrium is called yoga okay so since this word yoga right even in all chapters bhagwan has mentioned with the word yoga arjun vishad yoga the name of first chapter, uh, chapter karma yoga sankhya yoga daiva sur sampad vibhag yoga raj vidya raj guhya yoga मोक्ष संन्यास योग भक्ति योग पुरुषोत्तम योग सो एवरीवेयर योग 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 सो एज आई टोल्ड यू इन प्रीवियस सेशन दैट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंट डेफिनेशन ऑफ योग फ्रॉम different scriptures and roots of yoga okay and it's interesting okay so we'll try today what or how the different scriptures define the word yoga okay of course it became yoga now but correct word is yoga so i have searched this and got good information and the person who has explored these name is soumya nigam and of course we do express our gratitude for the work the person has done so we will try to understand this now in the research the person writes that yoga or yoga as it is commonly known <laughs> is derived from the sanskrit word yuj yuj to join the sanskrit language with an extensive vocabulary and strict rules for word usage each word is a powerhouse of energy derived from its letters interestingly 
there is no terminology for yoga <laughs> in sanskrit over the time yoga became associated with the label of yoga with the influence <laughs> okay so at least we should start uttering pronouncing yoga instead of yoga okay right now furthermore the person writes that achieving a conscious connection is key to accessing the true essence of yoga through this mindful awareness we are able to fully immerse ourselves in the present moment and experience the people things and experience around us in a more profound way this state of connection is a joyful and fulfilling experience that adds a new level of depth and richness into our lives see see how he, he the person is trying to explain and what is exactly yoga means yoga is not limited to a single definition but rather encompasses various paths to connect with our with our true selves at least one thing is decided here here what is the yoga for to connect our true selves that must be understood very clearly why we need yoga in our life to connect with our true selves understanding the classical definitions of yoga and exploring our own understanding on of it can unlock the doors to our intuition and creativity look how the broad it or the broad uh, understanding of the word yoga okay now the diverse definitions of yoga reveal a broad range of knowledge and experiences that can guide us along the yogic path towards self realization so we must not forget that yoga supposed to be for our self realization we must not forget that here let's know the different meaning and definitions of yoga from the perspective of bhagavad gita kathopanishad patanjali yoga darshan mahabharat and many more so first the person has taken definition from kathopanishad if you remember many many years back we have discussed the story of nachiketa and yama in our gita class that's related with the kathopanishad okay right now the definition of yoga according to kathopanishad what it says according to the katha upanishad it is the firm restraint of senses when the mind and senses are still and the intellect is not active one can reach the highest state 
this state allows for complete focus and undistracted awareness. The practice of yoga enables us to achieve this state by allowing us to transcend our thoughts and senses, revealing our true selves. So, we will be seeing many more definitions. But first, we try to understand is from the Kathopanishad, which I read for you. Okay. And nowhere in this definition it has mentioned about <laughs> any exercises. <laughs> it will come, I, I, I am not totally discarding that, it will come towards the end. But most of the time it's not. Okay. So, what it says, to control our thoughts, senses and actions, improving our overall mental and emotional well-being. By understanding yoga as restraint, we can learn to control our thoughts, our senses and our actions, improving our overall mental and emotional well-being. So, according to Kathopanishad, yoga should be for our mental and emotional well-being. Okay. Next, our favorite Bhagavan Krishna. What Bhagavan says in Bhagavad Gita. Okay. According to Bhagavad Gita, our scripture, okay, yoga is a path to equanimity and skill in action that we have seen in chapter 2, verse 48, Samatvam Yoga Uchyate. states that performing actions while established in yoga means abandoning attachment and being equanimous in success and failure. Underline this word. Yoga means abandoning attachment and being, being equanimous in success and failure. As per verse 48 of chapter 2, Bhagavan says, Samatvam Yoga Uchyate. The next, again from Bhagavad Gita, again in chapter 2, but that we have not taken, it will coming next in verse 50. Bhagavan has mentioned, Yoga Karmasu Kaushalam states that yoga is a skill in action. Yoga, Karmasu, Kaushalam, skill in action, as per the 50th verse of chapter 2. Now, in the 6th chapter, verse 23 in Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavan has mentioned, Tam Vidyat Dukkha Sanyogam Vyogam Yoga Sangnitam Sa Nishayena Yogtavyo Yogo Nirvinna Chetasa stresses the importance of practicing yoga as a separation from suffering. To fully benefit from yoga, one must practice with a non-dejected mind. That's Bhagavan says in chapter 6, verse 23. So, we have seen Kathopanishad, we have seen Bhagavad Gita. Now, 
Mahabharat. Okay. I mean, look, the Bhagavad Gita is a part of Mahabharat. But looking at the importance of this Bhagavad Gita, the wise man, the saint, the sages has considered that it's a scripture on its own. Right. Mahabharat. According to Mahabharat, there is no power that can match yoga. This ancient Hindu text recognizes yoga as the ultimate force of control and empowerment. It also acknowledges the importance of Shankhya. Shankhya means as a knowledge system. Shankhya Yoga is a spiritual discipline that aims to deepen practitioner's understanding of the fundamental distinction between Purusha and Prakriti. Purusha, spirit. Prakriti, matter. Okay? Between Purusha and Prakriti. Matter and spirit. So, we have seen Kathopanishad, we have seen Bhagavad Gita, we have seen Mahabharat. Neither Kathopanishad, nor Mahabharat, nor Bhagavad Gita has touched about physical exercise. Okay? <laughs> Next. Next scripture's name is Yoga Chara Bhumi. First of all, you need to write down the scripture's name. Yoga Char Bhumi. Okay, now let's see what Yoga Char Bhumi says about yoga. Yoga Char Bhumi highlights that yoga is comprised of Yoga Char Bhumi highlights that yoga is comprised of four primary components. And which are the four primary components? Number one, faith. Number two, aspiration. Number three, perseverance. And the fourth is means. Faith, aspiration, perseverance and means. The Yoga Charbhumi says by incorporating all four elements individual can develop an elevated level of mindfulness Coma, awareness and self-discipline. So, as per Yoga Char Bhumi, four primary components, faith, aspirations, perseverance and means. 
and by incorporating all four elements individuals can develop an elevated level of mindfulness awareness and self discipline okay so the fourth yoga char bhumi has also <laughs> not mention about any exercise right now the next is patanjali maharshi patanjali i mean patanjali yoga darshan you can even say the pioneer or the father of yoga the pioneer you can say i am is well respected maharshi patanjali when it comes to yoga in in his book patanjali yoga shastra or yoga darshan or yoga sutra okay maharshi patanjali has defined yoga is as the suppression of activities of the mind as the suppression of the activities of the mind furthermore maharshi patanjali says yoga is samadhi samadhi s a m a d h i okay it's difficult to translate samadhi but yeah a quality of the mind present in all states a quality of the mind present in all states including distracted distracted is the technical word is kshipta k s h i p t a kshipta k s h i p t a distracted confused confused is mug mood m u d h a mood is confused then agitated the technical word for agitated is vikshipta v i k s h i p t a then focused focused is ekagra and restrained last is restrained restrained is niruddha n i r u d d h a niruddha so what bhagwan patanjali or maharshi patanjali says yoga is a samadhi a quality of the mind present in all states which are the states including distracted kshipta confused mood agitated vikshipta focused ekagra and restrained niruddha and the same maharshi patanjali in one you can say one word one sentence he has mentioned yoga chitta vritti nirodah yoga is the cessation of the fluctuation of mind cessation is c e double s a t i o n yoga chitta vritti nirodah yoga is the cessation of the fluctuation of the mind yoga chitta vritti nirodha yeah I, i i like this definition the most because our mind is always fluctuating and then all the way always fluctuating always fluctuating so this is from 
महर्षि और ऋषि पतंजलि नाव नेक्स्ट स्क्रिप्चर इज पंचार्थ भाष्य According to the Panchakshara Bhashya, sorry, Panchartha Bhashya, it explores yoga is defined as the union between oneself and the divine. Yoga is defined as the union between oneself and the divine so so far we have seen six <laughs> okay <laughs> beat kathopani sad beat bhagavad gita बीट पतंजलि बीट महाभारत ओके और पंचार्थ भाष्य नन ऑफ दोज हैज टोल्ड अबाउट द फिजिकल एक्सरसाइज आई द थिंग इज आई 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 एम नॉट अगेंस्ट ऑफ दैट द फिजिकल एक्सरसाइज बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली नाउ दैट इज सैट बिलीफ एमंग द सोसाइटी Among the people, that yoga means physical exercise. No, and for that very reason, I am sharing this with you. I I, I can add. I cannot go to thousand million, twenty million people, but those who are here at least will know what is about you. and what the different scripture has told about it that is my purpose now the next scripture is known as vaisheshik sutra vaisheshik sutra now the vaisheshik sutra reveals that pleasure and suffering in yoga pleasure and suffering in yoga stem from the union of the senses mind and objects stem s t e m in yoga stem from the union of the senses mind and objects however when the mind is focused on the self there is no experience of the of either pleasure or suffering this is the essence of yoga the goal is to detach from external stimuli and focus on inner peace to achieve a state of liberation from world desires okay. 
what a beautiful definition i like this i like this when the mind is focused on the self there is no experience of either pleasure or suffering this is the essence of yoga the goal is to detach from external stimuli and focus on inner peace to achieve a state of liberation from worldly desire so it will convert pieces into peace <laughs> that's from the vaisheshik sutra okay okay let me take one more and then we might conclude the linga puran the next scripture in our list is linga puran the linga puran describes yoga as the state of nirvana nirvana n i r v a n a nirvana which refers to the condition of shiva in essence the term yoga represents the ultimate goal of achieving spiritual liberation where one reaches a state of supreme consciousness and enters into a state of profound unity with the divine profound unity with the divine okay so word use here is shiva okay condition of shiva not necessarily mean what we say of the shiv shankar bhagwan or mahadev okay is a shiv element shiv the meaning of shiv is kalyan welfare well being and another meaning of shiv is knowledge okay and that's why in our for our understanding we use the word shiv tatva and jeev tatva okay so yeah friends i am going it's a but heavy dose <laughs> uh i i could see that you people are writing and is recorded also you can always log in to skype you can always log in on youtube channel and you this you, you know you you need to listen to this quite often time <laughs> to get but of meaning okay that is more important there are few more explanation uh, but i mean look we will 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 we'll see we'll see okay so in uh, in the beginning i did mention that this uh, research from different scripture done by shomya nigam okay and for the benefit of all i have shared this with you and there are some more that of course we will try to explore on that in our next class okay Uh, so we conclude our today's class with arjun's prayer in 73rd verse of chapter 18 followed by aarti 
नष्टो मोह स्मृतिर्लब्धा तत्सादुत स्थितस्मे गेह करिष्ये वचन तवा